also mentioned European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde making some comments after the ECB's decision last in the last hour to leave rates unchanged. Steve Leisman joins us right now with, with more on this. Also, a big decision about uh, buying of additional bond, bonds that, that people have paid attention to, too. Yeah, recapping that, uh, Becky, the ECB decided to accelerate its purchases under its pandemic emergency purchase program. Uh, and that had a positive effect on yields. Uh, uh, the ECB saying it was doing it to avoid the tightening of financial conditions, ostensibly the rise in yields that's happened across the, the world. But it must have been something she said, because Lagarde uh, got to the, to the podium there, started her press conference, and the yields reversed themselves. Uh, uh, I don't, you'd be the judge if there's anything in here. Uh, but you see that the boon came back, yields, yields rose again, and the U.S. 10-year as well. Uh, Lagarde saying uh, an unchecked rise in bond yields could lead to a premature tightening. She said she's going to monitor the exchange rate for um, uh, the impact on inflation, stands ready to use all her instruments. Uh, real GDP expected to contract in the first quarter. Now, compare that with the U.S., where we're looking at 6 percent plus growth. But she does expect vaccinations to spur rebound in 2021. Joe, I'll leave it there. But uh, you did have a, a positive effect, ostensibly the way that the ECB wanted it to go with the statement at 745. But over the course of the morning and accelerating while Lagarde was talking, they seem to have come back. Back to you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.